Connecticut hockey players across the state are back in school and they're also back at the rank. Welcome to Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey. I'm your host, Ashley Leach, and today we're at Newington Arena for an exciting game between the Central Connecticut Squirt Bs and the Echo Squirt A1s. Players have spent all week hitting the books, but today these squirts are ready to hit the ice. Let's find if they're excelling in both arenas. Did you get to play any hockey this summer? And if you did, where'd you play? I did, but I didn't play any games. I played street hockey in my yard. I did play hockey this summer, and I played it here. Here for a tur turcot stick handling camp. I played with the A1s in Toronto. Well, I didn't. I had um, other sport camps. What else did you play? Um, basketball, football, baseball, rugby. If you could change one thing this hockey season, what would it be? Hmm. To have a ton of tournaments. Get a bigger shoulder pads. Get an even number of defensemen. No passing. My hockey stick. My shot. What are some of the other sports that your players play during the off season that maybe give them an edge in hockey? I know it runs the gamut. Baseball, soccer, to more independent things like BMX, skateboarding. As long as they're athletic, it helps. All the kids play other sports. It's important for them to get out and do something other than hockey. It, be, it gets them to become more well-rounded. I'm here with Jeff representing Central Connecticut and Megan representing Echo for our Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey Trivia Contest sponsored by Pro Crease Goaltending. Since these players have just gone back to school, these players are now back on the ice. So we're taking a look at top-notch student athletes. Are you guys ready? Ready. All right, let's get started. Question one. Last season, what percentage of the players in the NHL were former college players? Was it A, 9%, B, 18%, C, 31%, or D, 63%. Okay, both Megan and Jeff went with option C, which is correct, 31%. What's more exciting, starting a new hockey season or a new school year? Hockey season. Why? Because hockey is more better than school. Hockey is really fun. Hockey is better doing work all day. You get to see your friends and you get to interact with them on the ice. You get um, to move and sometimes in school you're just sitting there. What's your strategy this year for your hockey players to become even better? They're squirts so it's still really skill development, edge work, skating, stick handling, shooting, that sort of thing. We're going to work on moving the puck, making it not about each person but about the team. Edmonton Oilers forward Mark Arcabello, who was from Milford, completed four years at which nearby university? Is it A, Yale, B, Quinnipiac, C, Boston University, or D, Harvard? All right, so Megan went with D, Harvard, and Jeff went with B, Quinnipiac. The actual answer is A, Yale. Who's tougher on you, your teachers or your coach and why? Tough question. Teachers. Teacher. My teachers because they yell. Coach. My coaches. Coaches. Coaches because um, they're expecting us to um, do our best. What you know strategies do you have to get them to become maybe a better student athlete? They want to be here, and school isn't necessarily something that they're always interested in, but for us, school is number one. To be a good student athlete, obviously you need to do well in school and to accelerate in school. Make them more focused and give them better discipline. If they take that away from here to school, then I, I guess I did a good job. Last season, there were 305 former NCAA players in the NHL. Which college sent more of those players than any other? Is it A, Wisconsin, B, Michigan State, C, Boston College, or D, Bowling Green? All right, Megan put B, Jeff put A. The correct answer is actually C, Boston College. So today we actually have a score, which is great, which makes you guys both kind of a winner of today's Pro Crease Trivia. Thank you both for playing and congrats.
We hope these squirts achieve all their goals this year, both in hockey and in the classroom. Join us next week to meet more budding student athletes who know that you just gotta love Connecticut hockey.